And what I want first is to take a deep breath. <sighs> it is a real pleasure to be with you tonight. And I get to talk about one of my favorite topics, pleasure. So what do you notice in your body when I say the word pleasure? Some of you might notice your heart skipped a beat. Some of you might notice your heart might stop altogether with that word. Some of you might notice some sweat on your palms, or maybe your cheeks are a little flushed. There's something about this word. It does something to our bodies when we hear it. We react. And for some, our bodily response is welcome, and for others, it is downright terror. Why is that? How can a simple word have so much power over our experience? I'll tell you about my experience with pleasure. I was raised as a good Christian girl, Mormon in fact, and I see that the Mormons have come to Manchester and the Paradise Theater. So for me, pleasure was a dirty word. It was, you know, like, pleasure. It meant erotic, sexual, selfish, hedonistic, naughty, and definitely forbidden. Sound familiar to anyone? It's no wonder it elicits such strong reactions in us. And it wasn't until 2012, in the face of career burnout and a cancer diagnosis, that I started to see the necessity of pleasure and the healing power of pleasure in my life. That's right, pleasure brought me healing and it brought me home to myself. Tonight, I would like to invite you to reframe and reclaim your connection to pleasure. If you look up the definition of pleasure, it states a feeling of happy satisfaction and enjoyment. Sounds pretty innocuous, right? I invite you to close your eyes for a moment and see what images or memories come into your consciousness when you hear these words, happiness, joy, glee, rapture, playfulness, aliveness. For me, these words conjure images of nature, spending time with friends, enjoying a delicious meal, watching a beautiful sunset, listening to music, moving my body, or embracing a loved one. This is pleasure. Pleasure is also the erotic. And some may argue that eros is at the core of all experiences of pleasure. Pleasure is a physiological experience. It happens in our body. We don't give pleasure and we don't receive pleasure. We experience it. And it's based on feeling and sensation. So would you like to have an experience of pleasure right here and now? Yes. All right. So I invite you to take an object in your hands, maybe something from your purse or from your pocket, an inanimate object not connected to your body or anyone else's. <laughs> so find that object. I've got a pen. And I invite you to lean back in your chair and get really comfortable. 
and relax your hands in your lap. You might notice the first thing that happens with this object is that you name it. You give it a purpose, a meaning. This is automatic. It's what our mind do does to make sense of our world. And I invite you to throw that out the window and feel the object for a few minutes. Imagine you're an alien and you're just having this thing in your hand and you have no idea what it is or what purpose it holds. Feel the temperature, the texture, the weight. Slow your hands down and bring all your attention to your hands. Did you know there are more nerve endings in your hands than anywhere else in your body except your mouth and your genitals? We were made to feel, and our hands are an access point. So what do you notice about this object that you're feeling? And feel free to shout it out. Cold? Cold? Smooth. Smooth. Curvy. Curvy. Sharp. Sharp? Rough. Rough. Tingly. Tingly. What was that? Delicate, Delicate. yes. I invite you to continue feeling and bring all your curiosity to this exploration. And see if you can find a sensation that feels pleasant on your skin. So you might hold the object still in one hand and move the other hand across it. Or you might hold the object in your hand and use it to move it across your other hand. There are endless ways to explore. So there's nowhere to go, nothing to do. You might experiment with opening your eyes or closing them. Notice your breath. And take in as much air as you'd like. Notice if your mind wanders and just bring it back to your hands in this moment. Let your hands be curious. It's probably been a long time since they got to do anything other than work for you. You might notice that the object falls away and you're left with nothing but your sensation. Can you feel a little, maybe a little bit of pleasure here? When you slow down and feel, you release oxytocin, the love hormone. This calms your nervous system, creates a sense of connection, and you might notice a sense of relaxation in your body right now. So what do you notice about yourself as you're feeling this object? And feel free to shout it out. Calm? Calm? Relaxed? Relaxed. Greedy. Greedy? Focused. Focused. Adventurous. Adventurous. Curious. Curious. Surprised. Playful. Playful. Some of you might notice some boredom. Some of you might notice some sadness or grief. Some of you might notice some turn on. 
And let's all welcome. When we allow ourselves to feel, we start to feel everything. We feel things we haven't allowed ourselves to feel, perhaps for a very long time, or haven't been safe enough to feel. For some, feeling joy is even scarier than feeling grief. Can anyone relate to that? Allowing our feelings is really healing. When we feel whatever we feel, whether we label it as a good feeling or a bad feeling, it can move through us and it allows space for the next feeling to arise. This creates a sense of aliveness. I like to call this practice a touch meditation. In this practice, you learn that pleasure is literally at your fingertips. You get to choose what, how much, and when you want to feel. You learn that pleasure is within you. You don't need anyone else to give it to you. How many of you have children? And have you noticed the way they feel up everything around them? They rub it on their skin, or they run their bodies across something, and they put stuff in their mouth. They're not afraid to feel. And how many of you was a child, were a children? <laughs> many of us have forgotten how to feel. So feeling purely for the sake of pleasure is our natural state. At one point in our lives, we were told this isn't OK. We were made wrong for feeling. Don't touch that. Don't put that in your mouth. That's dirty. Don't touch yourself. Anyone heard any of those messages? I invite you to reclaim pleasure and all it has to offer you. Innocence, joy, and aliveness. This is your birthright. And the simplest way I have found is to slow down and feel. Pleasure is not only essential to our health and our well-being, it's essential to the health of our communities, our societies, and our ecosystems. As we connect back to ourselves, we become more compassionate and caring for all life on Earth. So I invite you to feel more of yourself while feeling the world around you. Thank you.